Alright guys, today I'm going to walk you through the setup on a Spartan Quark MEMS Gyro from Spartan. Uh, very easy, it is an awesome, awesome fly bar gyro for you guys still out there flying fly bar. If you're getting new into the hobby and you're not sure what gyro to go with, the thing's less than 100 bucks, holds a tail rock solid. So we're going to do a quick setup for you guys, show you how easy it is. So start by turning on your radio. Now on the back of the gyro there's a small little hole for you to stick like a pin or something in. This you're going to have to be quick about. When you first plug in a gyro it's going to start flashing going through its little cycles. As soon as it turns on, it goes through its setting and turns on. You have about 10 seconds here to get this in here and get it into programming mode. Hold it until you see the tail servo go through its little dance. So that's it. Then we're programming mode, and I'll show you the little dance it does. So again, turn it on. All right, so this solid, I'm going to go in here. I'm going to hold this button down. All right, and we're in setup mode. So that's step number one, get in setup mode. Second step, right now this is in purple, showing we're in the programming mode. It wants to know what direction a gyro is set at. As long as you have the gyro horizontal with the label up, you're going to take the stick here and you're going to go to the left. So that just told us the direction we want. That's step two. You're going to come over here, press the button again, does this little dance. Now we need to set the limits. And the limits is how far out the pitch slider will go without binding. So, I'm going to want to go on the stick here, go all the way in until it starts to bind and back it out. So you want that little thing inside there to go as far as it can without binding. So I went in as far as I can go. I'm going to go back up here again, hit the setup button. Now we're going to do the outer limit, same thing. Go all the way out on that pitch slider until it starts to bind and then back it back off. So you see the slider here? Go until you hear it bind or you see the servo start to wind and just back it off a little. That's the farthest out I can go on it. I'm going to come up here again, hit the button, going through its dance. Now that we've been through all menus, you touch the sticks, it doesn't do anything. Turn it off. Everything's stored now. Now when you turn it back on, it goes through, it's blue, we're good to go. That's it. It's that simple to set up a Spartan Quark Gyro. Alright, so real quick, we'll walk through it one more time. Plugging it in, let it go through its sequence, hold the programming button until the tail servo does its little dance. We're now in programming mode. Move the stick once to the left to tell it what direction. Hit the button. Set your endpoint limits for the inner. Hit the button to store it. Do your outer limits. Hit the button and store it. That's it. We're done. That's how you set up a Spartan Quark Gyro. That's it. It's that easy, easy guys. Heading lock gyro, under $100 for a fly bar helicopter. Can't beat it.